All right, so I wanna address one question that I get a lot, uh, especially from first time AK owners or people who literally just put a new rifle into their inventory. And that question is, what do you recommend as the very first upgrade to the rifle? And you could ask that question to 100 people, you're gonna get 100 different answers, but I'm gonna give you my answer. In my opinion, on a rifle that you're going to be uh, seriously shooting, the very first upgrade that you should make will be to replace the factory safety selector with one of the many different enhanced safety selectors that are out on the market. We recommend the Krebs enhanced selector, so we'll actually put that on this rifle and show you how it works. I'm actually also gonna ask my good friend Mark, he's the guy that's on the camera right now. He does not have a whole lot of experience handling these rifles out of the range and shooting them. I think it's important for y'all to see the perspective of a new shooter, uh, what it feels like to manipulate the factory safeties right out of the box versus having one of these upgraded safeties. All right, everybody, say hi to Mark. Mark has been a great employee of Kyber Customs over the last two years. I've asked him to help and give kind of a unique perspective on the factory safety of this Zastava M70. Now, Mark, if I had to ask, how, how many hours do you have behind an AK-47 rifle actually shooting it at the range? Two hours at the most. Okay. So we would consider you to be kind of in the beginner realm of operating, right? right? So what I've asked Mark to do is, is first of all, Mark, uh, take a look at that safety. There Fire. you go. Fire. Safety safe. up means that the rifle is safe. Right. So you understand how the safety is manipulated. Oh, yeah. What I'd like for you to do is, is I want you to uh, get the rifle up into a shooting position. And when I say fire, what I want you to do is manipulate the safety in a way that you feel is the most efficient. Okay. I want you to manipulate the trigger and then put the safety up. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Fire. Okay. All right, take a breath and I want you to do it again. Okay. Hey, okay, ready? Yeah. Fire. All right, we're going to do one more. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to keep the gun at low ready. Okay. All right, and when I say fire, pull the gun up. Safety off, trigger, safety back on. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Fire. Okay. Initial impressions, being kind of a, a novice behind the AK, how did that feel? Uh, stiff, kind of notchy, not smooth. Okay. Pretty rough feeling. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna rip that safety out. We're gonna throw in one of the Krebs enhanced safeties. Got it right there in the packaging. Uh, it should take just a few seconds, and then I'm going to have you do the same thing, Mark, and we'll get some feedback from you, okay? Okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take the opportunity now to let you know that uh, one of the things that we do here at Kyber Customs that I think is unique versus any other place is any of the enhanced safety selectors, or really any safety selector or fire control group that you buy at Kyber Customs, we include a free retaining plate with your purchase. So get a really good look at that. These are stainless steel. The purpose of the retaining plate is that when you uh, change out any of your fire control group components or your safety, um, oftentimes what ends up happening is, is your axis pins. These are the pins that sit right here that hold in the fire control group. On the inside of your receiver, oftentimes the factory will include these like really shitty looking uh, shepherd's hooks. They look like uh, paper clips almost. And they're almost impossible to put back in after you take them out and they don't really do a great job. Uh, so we have these made up out of stainless steel and to kind of give you an idea of how they work, inside of the receiver, they slide in in between the axis pins and the receiver to hold your axis pins in place. So we're gonna go ahead and yank this out. Here we go. Okay. First thing we gotta do, get rid of that guy. This is gonna slide up behind the axis pins here. I'm gonna move the spring out of the way right here. There we go. And the new Krebs selector goes in. There we go. That's it. Do a quick function check to make sure everything looks good. 
All right, so now that we've got the retaining plate installed, we've got the new safety selector. We're gonna do just a quick function check to make sure that the uh, firearm doesn't fire while in safe. Everything's resetting properly. Safety is up in the safe position. No trigger dropping, so everything looks really good. Like that new safety. Mark, I'd like for you to test this out. Uh, I just told Mark, he said, can I get a chance to rehearse? I told him no, because we're doing science here. Okay. All right, so go ahead and grab the rifle. So Mark's got his hands on the ZPAP M70 now with the Krebs Enhanced Safety installed. Mark, I know it's kind of obvious in looking at it, but just want to point this out, that this little nub right here is really the main feature of these enhanced safeties. Uh, it's supposed to... Uh, prevent you from having to reach all the way over to push the tab here. You should be able to manipulate this with your pointer finger. So how do you feel? Let's give it a shot. All right. So I'm going to yell fire. You're going to drop the safety, pull the trigger, and push the safety back up. Okay. All right? Yep. All right. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right. Fire. Definitely an improvement. All right, let's do it again. I want you this time at low ready. Okay. All right, fire. So how did that feel compared to the factory selector that was on it? It's not, there's no notchiness to it. It's a lot smoother. Uh, this piece makes it a lot easier to manipulate with your finger, with your index finger. One of the things I'll cut to here also was when you were manipulating the factory safety, you were pretty much almost lifting your hand completely off the pistol grip to be able to manipulate versus yeah. uh, I didn't coach you here. I didn't tell you how to do this. This is you as kind of a novice shooter doing what you think you're supposed to do. Folks, this is the reason why I recommend the enhanced safety right out of the gate is because this is just a very simple upgrade. It makes a big difference. Um, even for someone who's just getting into shooting, I think sees the value in having an upgraded safety. So thank you very much.